वेलकम एवरी वन टू टूडे क्लास सो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग दिस सीरीज मिस्टेक्स एंड मिसकनसेप्शन इन फिजिक्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अनदर मिस्टेक और मिसकनसेप्शन विच जनरली स्टूडेंट्स है दैट इज डिस्टेंस वर्सेज डिसप्लेसमेंट सो दीज टू थिंग्स डिस्टेंस एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट दे आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स सो वेन यू आस्क ए स्टूडेंट आर दे सेम और डिफरेंट देन दे बिकम कॉन्शियस दैट समन इज आस्किंग मी then they become conscious and then then they answer the right thing that sir sir distance and displacement are two different things but uh, when you give them a question a numerical to calculate distance or displacement then they find out the same answer and then the bubble and they get negative marks for that so by default when you calculate we think that uh, distance is magnitude of displacement so how do we calculate distance we calculate displacement then we take its mode and we write down that as distance that that's the mistake so that's what we are going to see here that how should we calculate displacement and how should we calculate distance so let's say so here i am talking of one d motion here i am talking of one d motion so let's say this is the path this is the path and a body moves from a to b and then it comes back to point c so it's like the body it moves from a to b like this then it turns from b and comes and stops at c right this is the actual path length traveled by the body so if i ask you what is the distance then distance is it is a to b a to b plus b to c it's the path length from a to b and then the path length from b to c so that's what is distance and if i ask you what is a displacement then displacement is it is only the gap between the final position and the initial position so initial position is a final position is c so it is a to c right so mathematically what is distance it is the total path length traveled by the body so here the body has moved first from a to b then from b to c so distance or the total path length is ab the length of ab plus the length bc isn't it but displacement means it is only the gap between the final position and the initial position so final position is c initial position is a so it is ac right so here i have denoted distance by the letter s s and displacement by the letter delta x so are they same so yes they are not same they are not same and how do we calculate both these terms so the way to calculate displacement is the way to calculate displacement is its final position minus initial position right and the way to calculate a distance is you should first find out that point from where the body turns that i call it as turning point so this is the initial point in this case this is the initial point or initial position this is the turning point this is the turning point and this point c this is the final point this is the final point isn't it so if you have to find out distance then first we have to find the displacement from initial point to turning point and that we can find by doing xt minus xi take its mode then find the displacement from turning point to final point and that we can find out by x f minus x t take its mode and then add them this part gives you ab this part gives you bc and then you add them that gives you distance right so let's take a question to understand it more so the point which i am trying to tell is that displacement is the gap between the final position and the initial position so you can find out like this and distance it is the total length of path traveled by the body so you have to find it by separating you know the the motion into two parts from first point to the turning point and then from turning point to the final point and then taking those path lengths taking those path lengths mode magnitude and then adding them right so now the question is how do we find turning point so a turning point the velocity is zero so a turning point at turning point the velocity 
is 0. That means dx by dt is 0. So here I am assuming that you know all these terms distance, displacement, velocity, speed, acceleration and now you are only confused about how to differentiate them and calculate them and I am teaching you that. So I am not going deeper into what is position, what is displacement, what is distance, what is velocity, what is average velocity, what is instantaneous velocity, what is average speed, what is instantaneous speed, what is average acceleration, what is instantaneous acceleration. So to know more about all these terms, you can see our another video which I will share in the link below. Right? So let's continue. So so let me take uh, one numerical an example so let's take a question so let's say the question is the position of a body is given by let's say t square minus 40 plus 1 question is find out find out displacement displacement and distance traveled by the body by the body from t equal to 0 second to t equal to 3 second this is the question let's solve it okay so let me solve it so to find displacement to find displacement, I don't need turning point. I only need the initial point and the final point, right? So find displacement. What I will do? I will find out the initial point. So I will find out the initial position. How will find the initial position at t equal to 0? How will I find the final position? Final position is the position where it was at t equal to 3 second. Achha, so put t equal to 0 here. So it gives me 1. So the initial position is 1. Put t equal to 3 here. It gives me how much? 3 cos square. 9 plus 1. 10. 10 and this is 4 into 3. 12. 10 minus 12. Minus 2. So this is final position. So if, if I have to find out displacement. It is delta x. So that is final position. Minus initial position. That is minus 2. Minus 1. That is minus 3. So displacement comes out to be minus 3. Can displacement be negative? Yes, displacement can be negative. It can be positive. It can be negative. It can be 0 also. So positive displacement means the body has moved towards right. Negative displacement means the body has moved towards left. And 0 displacement means the body has moved around and it has come back to the initial position. The final position is same as the initial position. Then in that case, displacement will be 0. Isn't it? So let's continue. So we have calculated displacement. Now, now to find distance, now to find distance, what I will do? I have to divide the motion into two parts, isn't it? The initial point, the turning point and the final point. And let me find out the turning point now. So the turning point, how to find the turning point? So a turning point, at turning point velocity is 0 that means dx by dt is 0 I hope all of you know differentiation so dx by dt it is 2t minus 4 equal to 0 that gives me t equal to 2 second that means the body turns at 2 second so the turning point is at 2 second I want to know the position of the turning point put t equal to 2 here how much it is 2 plus square 4, 4 plus 1, 5 and 4 into 8, 5 minus 8, minus 3, minus 3, right. So here what has happened, the body has moved like this, it has started from 1, if you take the number line, where should I take it, yeah, here, if you take the number line, so it has started from 1, it has started from 1, then it has travelled up to minus 3, then it has travelled up to minus 3 and then it is it has turned from the position minus 3 and reached minus 2 minus 2 so the body has moved like this this is how the body has moved first it has moved from 1 to minus 3 okay let me draw it properly so first the body has moved from 1 to minus 3 like this 
then it has turned from here and reached minus 2. So that minus 3 is the turning point. Okay, now if I want to find out the distance, tell me how much is this length? One select a minus 3 is that. Now 4. How much is this length? Minus 3 select a minus 2 is that. 1. So this is 4 plus 1, 5. So dist distance, how will I calculate? It's like I have to take delta. Okay. I have to take like, you know, xt minus xi, the mode, plus x final minus xt, the mode. Right? So, let me solve it here. Let me solve it here. So, this xt minus xi, initial point is like a turning point. How much will this 4. The next step minus xt, final point is like a turning point is like a final point. How much will It is 1. So, distance is 5 meter. Hope it is clear. So, to find distance, we have to divide the motion into two parts. Initial point, say turning point, and turning point, say final point. Find delta x for each part. Take the mode and then add them. That gives you distance. Is it possible that sometimes distance and displacement can become equal? Answer is yes. If the body is traveling in a straight line without changing direction, without turning back then distance and displacement will be equal but otherwise they are not equal and when they are not equal then you have to calculate it like, uh, calculate it like this now the mistake which students make the mistake is that students think that distance is mode of displacement this is not always true so what they will do like here displacement has come minus 3 so if you ask them distance many of them they will take its mode and they will tell distance is 3 that's wrong distance you can't simply take as mode of displacement. There are two different things and this is how you have to calculate. So that's all for today. If you like our video then please subscribe to our channel and share this video amongst your friends. If you have any further questions you can always approach me either by commenting below or by calling to my whatsapp number. Thank you.